What dreads? What dreads? I don't know what you talking about, baby. I mean, shit. I mean, I know somebody that used to have dreads. He looked like me. You know what I'm saying? I heard he was my twin or something, baby. But shit. <laughs> Never done out of race. race. I'm moving at my own pace. pace. I don't spit bitch spray. Bitch. So fresh, call it clay. Yeah. Never trapping while I lay. Stupid. You coming in, you gotta stay. Stupid. Nigga, you can still get it. Yeah. Just gotta chill for 20 Stupid. minutes. Grinding, trying to get it. Running up from digits. Faster than I spit it. Never seen a limit. Nah, I just decided, man. I just, I just want, I had to cut him off, man. I ain't gonna say I had to, but I wanted to. I just wanted to, just wanted to start over, man. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with some, dealing with some personal shit, man. Be going on in my life, man. Uh, R.P. my dog Ozark, man. He from my little brother, man. He, you know what I'm saying? He, he unfortunately passed away. And, uh, shit, I had to see that shit. I had to witness that shit, you know what I'm saying? So, when you go through shit like that, it makes you just wanna, for me, start over any way you can, man. So, me cutting the dress was like me getting a fresh start. But, this is how I felt, this is how I looked at it. On some real shit, I, I ain't trying to know no bullshit. The reason why I, when I, the reason why I first grew him out, because this one little female I was fucking with, she know who she is. This one little female I was fucking with, she was like, she was like, you look, you look cute if you had some dreads. I'm like, ah, oh, for real, baby. <laughs> so I give the bitches out. But when they was little, bro, people were saying I look like D.L. Hughley. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I, I been getting a lot of positive reactions. They be saying my head big than a motherfucker, though. Hey, boy, your head big as hell. Or then they also be telling me I look younger. I ain't old anyways, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Baby saying I look younger and shit like that. And they be actually be saying they like, for real, people be making me feel like I was ugly with my dreads or something. Because they be saying like, well, you look 10 times better without your dreads. Like, damn, bitch, what was I ugly at first? <laughs> I ain't shit, motherfucker. My boy, my boy. Ah, uh, the Ghost of Shooty 2? Yes, sir. Ghost of Shooty 2? Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's the sequel, man, to the first one, man. The Ghost of Shooty 1, RP my dog Shooty, man. It's my brother right there. He got killed when we was 17. And uh, shit, I'm just making his name live on, you know what I'm saying? Cause he, like, my brother, we, we was, he blessed us, we was able to have a mixtape, you know what I'm saying, that he had put together before he died. You feel me? Unfortunately, he wasn't around to see the results of it. But I'm glad that, I'm glad and I'm thankful and I'm blessed for the fact that I was able to hear my homie's voice one last time, you know what I'm saying? And I can always listen to it. I can pull it up right now whenever I just want to hear his voice. You feel me? So I'm happy about that and I'm proud about that, man. So I, I really, that's really why I called it the Ghost of Shooty because I am the Ghost of Shooty, man. That was my big brother, man. He was the first one to, you feel me, to try to start taking this rap, rap shit serious before, you feel me, his untimely death. So he gonna live on through me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna make sure that his name's always gonna be stamped. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Ah uh, yeah, like on uh, like on the, the number two song with the back from the dead, uh uh I feel like he was telling me like bro lay that shit all out on the on the line of everything you was going through. Cause I'm the type of motherfucker, like don't get me wrong. Of course everything I rap about is me, you feel me? I ain't capping about shit. But I don't like getting too personal and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't like getting too personal. So with that back from the dead, I feel like he wanted me to go all out and get personal with that shit. So I told about my my my, my struggles with addiction, how I was addicted to Percocets and shit like that. I just put it all out on the table, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that was him telling me, bro, fuck it, do that shit, go out, bro, go hard, you know what I'm saying? Fuck what anybody got to say. And I'm proud I did that shit. It's actually one of my favorite songs on the album, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, he def he definitely living through me. I can, for me, no matter no matter how long it's been since he's been gone, I still hear his annoying ass voice in my head when I be fucking up. Like, hey man, get your shit together. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't motherfucker. You ain't even heard. You still get on my damn nerves. <laughs> you don't mind my eat this food while I'm here doing this, right? He's I ain't bet I'm hungry than a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> but yes, sir, most definitely, man. Uh. Flex, man, it's the latest song I just dropped. Late, late, uh, the latest video I just dropped for the song called Flex. Oh, uh, hey, that's a banger right there. Shout out to DJ Empty Beast. He's been spinning it on the radio, man. Uh, basically, in the song, I'm talking about I want to check, run it up so I can flex, shit on my ex, and show her she settled for less. Fuck that hoe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but no, man, it's, 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 it's a very, it's a, it's a fun song, man. It's not, I ain't got too much cussing in that motherfucker, though. It's a, so it's, I ain't gonna say, I guess you could say it's not kid friendly because I say shit in, my, shit in the song. But nowadays, man, these kids can just get on the internet and look up anything. So it's still kid friendly. <laughs> I ain't for real, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>